Hey everybody, it's Dawson Ness from MimicMethod.com where you learn foreign languages by ear. Now, I always say learn by ear, but really I should say learn by ear and mouth because there's two parts to me having this conversation with you right now, right? First, the words that I'm hearing with my ears and then the sounds that I'm making with my mouth. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can become the master of your own mouth and how this is a critical part to learning a foreign language rapidly. Now, I want to ask you this question first. Can you explain to me what a preposition is? Or how about, can you tell me in Spanish how to conjugate AR verbs in the present tense for the first person and third person? Now, I'm willing to bet that a lot of you watching right now can answer that question perfectly. And you learned it in school, high school, middle school, whatever. And everyone knows these grammar things and everyone raises their hands when I give these questions at speeches. But then I ask this question. What is the difference between the English word to and the word do? To and do. Physically, what am I doing different in my mouth to create these two different words? And to that, most people don't know the answer. Now, if you're watching and you do know the answer, then there's only two explanations for that. A, you already have a background in phonetics, you took a course in college, or you took one of our courses where we teach you these things. We teach you how the mouth works. Now, quick answer to that question in case you're wondering is for the T and two, t -t 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 -t, my voice box is deactivated. And for the D and do, d -d 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 -d, my voice box is activated, it's vibrating. But aside from that, my tongue is doing the exact same thing in both cases. T -d -t -d -d. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are watching this and you're like, oh wow, I never realized that. I never thought about that. And that's strange because I know a lot of you spent a lot of time learning foreign languages, but they never taught you that basic thing of the difference between two basic sounds in English and many other languages. T -d -t -d. And the question is, why is that? Why is it that we ignore our mouth when we learn foreign languages? We focus all our attention on the meanings and the grammars and the structures, but we ignore what our mouth is actually doing. And in phonetics, we call this the speech organ, which you use to create speech. However, I like to call it the speech instrument because it's kind of like a musical instrument. When you learn to play a musical instrument, what do you do? You learn, for example, with a guitar, how to move your fingers to get this instrument to create musical sound and if you go to a class of guitar and you ask your guitar teacher to teach you how to play guitar you would expect him to show you how to move your fingers and manipulate the instrument you wouldn't expect him to say okay lesson one let me tell you about harmonic theory and the grammar of music and when you combine these two notes they form a 440 hertz blah 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 in the conjugation of this is right it should be the same thing for language. Your first day of Spanish class should be them teaching you how to use your mouth to make Spanish sounds. Because at the end of the day, your whole goal is to go to a Spanish-speaking country and then use your mouth to communicate with people, to connect with people, all right? It's all about the mouth. It all starts here. So no more excuses. You shouldn't be ignorant of what's going on in your mouth. Now, this is exactly what we focus on at The Mimic Method. At MimicMethod.com, we have free courses telling you everything you need to know about how to use your mouth. But for this video, because I'm going to make it short, I want to give you one quick mini lesson on phonetics. And what I'm going to teach you today is how to use your tongue to make different vowel sounds. Now, what is a vowel sound? By definition, a vowel is when sound leaves your mouth unobstructed and unrestricted. So as soon as my tongue or lips gets in the way and I'm like, I'm making a consonant. When I leave it open, I, I have a vowel sound. Now, there's three things I do with my speech instrument to make one vowel sound different from another. First is I change the shape of my lips, or I change the airflow through either my mouth or my mouth and my nose, like or most common and most important feature of vowel is I change the position of my tongue. So air is coming out of my mouth and I'm shaping that air with my tongue position. So what I want to teach you right now is how to develop an awareness of your tongue position when you're speaking any language. First, 
do this at home, you're gonna look weird, find a nice quiet place to do this. I'm in a parking lot right now and people are looking at me, so you can just not care the way I do. But what I want you to do is I want you to say a big open ah. Like you're going to see the doctor and they're putting one of those like popsicle sticks in your mouth. Ah, ah. Now you can see my tongue, ah, is at the bottom and back of my mouth. Ah, ah. Now, if I slowly raise my tongue up, check out the sound I get. Ah, ooh, ooh. This ooh vowel is at the top of my mouth, also the back. So ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. When I go from an ah to an ooh, I am raising my tongue. Now. You probably do not have an awareness of that movement, but if you repeat this over and over again, do look in a mirror, or at least trust what I'm telling you, you will slowly develop an awareness of what it feels like to lift your tongue up. Now I want you to start from that ooh, 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 and slowly push your tongue forward and see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ee. The E from feet, seat, heat. So we have our E, that's the top position, front. E, back position, top. Oo, from who and Lu and Su. And then back position, bottom. Ah, from hot and not and cot. Ah, oo, e, oo, ah, oo, e, oo. So what I'm doing right now is saying vowels that are common to all of us. We all know these vowels but I have an awareness of where I'm moving my tongue. And with that awareness, I can now go to a foreign language and start to figure out where these sounds are. So for example, on the way from U to A, we also have the O from No, A from Dog and uh, Awesome, and then we have our A. So U, O, O, A, A, so what's going on right now? You're getting a finer, a finer resolution on your tongue movements, little subtle movements. And when you're going to a foreign language and trying to sound like people, trying to mimic their way of speaking, and when it comes to vowel sounds, essentially what you're doing is you're trying to map and hit the exact same tongue position that that guy's doing. And when you do that, you're clear, you're understood, you can mimic, you can express yourself more fluidly. But first, you need to have that awareness of your tongue. All right, so this is a very simple mini lesson. I'm not gonna go deep in this video, but if you enjoyed that, check us out at mimicmethod.com. Subscribe, check out our Facebook page. Sorry, these guys are going to go into the car. Uh, check it out, mimicmethod.com. We have a free course on pronunciation, phonetics, and everything you need to learn to master your mouth in a foreign language. Uh, if you have any questions, ask us in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, if you believe what I tell you, that you need to learn language by sound and not by writing, not by grammar, not by theory, but the natural way, the same way you did as a child, learning how to use your mouth. By the way, when you see a baby going like this, blah, 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 they're doing mimic method, all right? So take a leaf out of their notebooks and uh, check out our website, mimicmethod.com, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.